your turn, so that's why I would like you to appreciate it with me. Um, Okay, good afternoon again. To welcome to my session, it's just my honor that I will be chair my study with you all here. And the topic that I'm going to talk with you and sharing with you today is the classical um, music chain in the context of Thailand. Yesterday, the keynote presentation by Professor Annalit, uh, Dean of Sydney Conservatory, that she let us observe ourselves in the simple question that was, what was your earliest musical memory? So there are many people to do the short workshop on her. It's really, really good. So after that question, I started to observe myself, and that I remember that I began to study music lesson in the pirate music school uh, with the electron, the Japanese um, electronic invented instrument thing. So, and also, I had the first chance to making music with friends at that time um, in the cast of an electron ensemble. That remind me when we were going to finish the piece, um, you know, everybody had to pay like this, although um, the piece that was in the slowly tempo. I'd like to share another one, for example, I, I don't know that she will be here or not. In 2012, I have done the recital with um, Jan Anotai Nitipon, uh, who is inspired me a lot of work in many perspectives of music. And for instance, working with the people in the community uh, by applying music to the activity. And academic works, of course, life. Yes, and she taught me two words that I could uh, remember until now. Uh, that is the sympathy and empathy. So, and then time flies, and both of us, so we have worked a lot of time in here at the PGVM for 2012 or something like that. It's more it's well, like a, we, have been, we didn't perform together for a decade. And of course, in 2019, I had the opportunity to recite with her once again at the second time that we do recital together at the Princess Galayani Watana Institute of Music. And I would like to say thank you to her, but I don't know, maybe she's busy around here. Thank you to her that I know that she sounds like my sister, that you always inspire me. So that's why it's a, you know, it's a, that music, that matter of us. So I will really give for the professor and Nali that um, she talked yesterday that music is all of us. So music matters for all of us. So back to in my study, so I survey and explore the classical music chain to observe their life um, to be how music matters. So if you see this photo and is in 1900. So the Siamese theater group, uh, which performed in Berlin, Germany at the time. So you, you, you know that the culture of Western countries and the Eastern country are different. So that's why we know the Western classical music in the, the period of King Rama VI, so around 1911 to 19... 20, something like that, because of um, that time, the King Ram Madhusik tried to encourage the people to know about the Western classical music. So, you know, at first, so from the history, it mentioned that at first, the traditional musicians were invited to work or rehearse on, or practice on the Western uh, music instrument, but that time is not comfortable to them because of, you know, it's different skill and different to, learns how to perform uh, the Western classical music at that time. And you know, no, normally for the Thai musical culture, we learn about the oral tradition, by the oral tradition. So we, and when the master paid, and then um, for the student have to pay, follow them. So that's it. So I would like to Comparison to the Western music culture, so we back to the Western music cultures. Of course, it is descriptions. Uh, this uh, this photo is in um, 1929, so 
uh, is a drawing about the concert at the Paris Conservatoire in March in late uh, 1843. So, you know, at that time, Western classical music have forms like uh, such have uh, structures, and there are some a lot of the repertoire by notating by, by the composer. Then, well, you know, and also the another side is the music education. The the um, the country is also different. Thailand into Thailand too about the music education. So in Western country, we found that there is some like a state funding, uh, state funded for the music education. So that's what from the primary to the higher education like conservatoire. So can you imagine that in the West, so which facilitated the appreciation of music in the society at all? And in the meanwhile, Thailand has no public policy to support the classical music education in the primary level. And we, there are some found in the secondary uh, school, like uh, or something like that, so dramatic core art. So, and however, they t try to support like a dance rather than the Western music, actually. And right now, now we are in the uh, 2019, so there are hundreds of music programs that happen, music programs and curriculum so found in our Thai university or higher education. So each year, we have a problem that is very highly competitive about you know, um, the people after they graduate. There is high number as the multitude of Thai graduate with degrees in music, music performance. I still didn't count the people who study abroad uh, because of they um, study abroad. So, and then every school normally try to train the student to be a soloist or orchestra player. So, you know, now is the highest number, higher and higher number. So why we have the limited the professional orchestra. So that's why I that's why that it led to be and the oversupply right now. I mean the the people or students who graduate from the music performer in our country. So can you imagine that, that I talk to you that right now we have so like a two or three professional orchestra, but why we have a big number of the um, students who graduate in music performance. So that's why um, my study, I, I would like to try to survey the possibility of working in the field of music as a performer and finding the result in attitude why they succeed to be the classical performing musician in the context of Thailand. In here, uh, this is the first phase of my study on this topic. Um, the method of the study, I try to divide it into four steps. So one is, uh, I would like to try to, uh, I selected the representative sample. Uh, next, I will interview them, the representative sampling. And then I will try to analyze and synthesis. And last, I will conclusion to be a result of my study. In each step, um, I can explain something like this. So the, rep, the selected, the representative sampling, so luck to me, so I contact to around uh, nine musicians in three different periods of age. First is the rising star generation. Rising star in here, in this term, is mean like a classical performers. And the second is a half new generation, is same my age, is, is not too young, it's not too old, you know what I mean? And the last one is a master guru's um, age. And the criteria for the selected of the sampling were the musicians who have been performed in classical music continuously. And besides, they can apply the classical music um, to be the art of musical style uh, or the different field of arts. And also, they have to be a famous, uh, famous classical music in Thai society too. Last but not least, they have to also have like a, can be inspired to the other people. It's an important thing that I require in this sample. Next, um, the emerging artist, the first group is like a famous star, rising star, classical um, 
music star in Thailand. So first is a short Bosu one. Now he's assistant concert master of the National Symphony Orchestra of Thailand. He really good and he opened my so you can see later when I analyze this. So the second one into which we know we lean now oh he graduated uh, the bachelor in Thailand and now he tried to study the board in Vienna. And the next one is Sassini, she is a soprano and she's talented. She got the scholarship and you know there are a lot of um, national and international performance all the time. Um, next is uh, Pitya and Chalat. Um, both of them are violinists, so they try to approach to seeking the new way of performance. If you can see on the Facebook um, entitled Sonata, you can see the those two guys played the Mali or, or something like a, you know, very good quality performance and video also. And the second group is the attribute performers. So first I asked to Mr. Pong Ted, he's one of my colleagues. So he's talented, he is a realist, and now he is orchestra, PYO orchestra manager. And he also the music activist and lecturer, and now he's supposed to be done his PND this year. The second one is Dr. Tanapon, he is an awesome guy, and you know, he lecturer and he conductor, he is a music director and composer and also he is a lighter. Next one is our dean, Dr. from Sandi uh, Lokunanan. He has a lot of the musical perspective and that is not only the normal performer that think about this. And also he is horn player. And last but not least, the Linao's performers. I have just asked to Ajahn Damri, but now with Yakit, he is the white president of the administrative affair, Prince Kalyani Vasana Institute of Music. He is an oboist and he is a conductor and also the arranger. So, you know, there are many, many titles that they try to work on the musical area. Next, the second stage, so I try to interview them to the question says what is about the representative, the musical background, the musical context in Thailand in their view, and also how to adapt the classical music, classical musical knowledge to the art disciplines, and suggestion the possibility to work um, this classical music in Thai society, and last the idea of the. Um, new performing classical in the new generations. So, and of course the follow question, why, 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 why I'm talking with them. I spend with everyone around one hour. Can you imagine that I have to uh, listen and talk with them around 10 hours for this study? Next for this session, so I would like to take this opportunity uh, to let you see the video that I interview, um, but I cut it shortly, so uh, around five minutes, so to be my analysis and synthesis, so peace. ชื่อชอบบทสวรรค์ครับชิลินชิสันปิ่นนะคะซาซินีอัสวะเจษดากุลค่ะวิทวินสุรีรัตนากรวิลลี่ครับธนาธรนะคะธลัดลิปิติล
แบบตรงๆเลยปะซีซั่นเชนวันนึงไปเห็นเวลินก็ไปเกาะอยู่หน้าประตูทิ้งเท่อะเอ้ยต้องเล่นอะเนี่ยเราเห็นแอคชั่นของการเอานิ้วมากดตรงนี้แล้วมันแบบมีเพื่อนในการเล่นดนตรีทําให้เรารู้สึกว่ามีแพชชั่นพอได้เล่นกับเพื่อนๆเยอะๆแบบมันมันสนุกขึ้นชอบในความที่เสียงมันเพราะพวกจอห์นวิลเลียมสตาร์วอลส์จอร์จูเรสิกพาร์คตอนนั้นเนี่ยก็คือเปิดซีดีเป่าตามได้หมดเลยพอเล่นอิเล็กโทรเนี่ยมันมันเปลี่ยนเสียงเครื่องดนตรีได้ก็เริ่มสนุกแล้วเริ่มออเคสเตรตซึ่งตอนนั้นยังไม่รู้ว่าคือออเคสเตรชันแต่เริ่มออเคสเตรตเริ่มเล่นเพลงเองต่อมาหลังจากนั้นนะมันก็เลยลีดไปสู่การอารีนเพลงช่วงเหล่าซื่อสอนผมร้องเพลงจีนสองผมเล่นปุยผมก็มีความสนุกแล้วก็ซาบซึ้งกับการเล่นดนตรีมาตั้งแต่เด็กเล่นดนตรีจริงจังตอนที่อยู่วงโยธวาทีเราอยากจะเล่นโอโบให้ได้แบบมาตรฐานเราก็ไปสอบแล้วก็ได้ทุนเรียน professional diploma ห้องกรม academy ม .2 โรงเรียนมี exchange student program กับที่นิวซีแลนด์ผมเนี่ยไปในฐานะเป็นนักเรียนมีความสามารถทางด้านดนตรีช่วงที่เรียนอยู่ปกติอย่างแรกสุดเลยเขาจะชวนแบบเสียงพวกเพลงป๊อปอีกวงการหนึ่งครับพี่เวลาเขาอยากได้เครื่องสายเนี่ยเขาติดต่อเรามาคือมีวงอะไรผมเล่นหมดตัดสินใจที่จะไปเรียนที่ห้องวงคาร์ดมีฟอร์ดเพอร์ฟอร์มิงอาร์ตมันเป็นอะไรที่ตรงใจเราเราอยากเล่นวงเคสตราโซโล่ทุกเทรนนะฮะเพื่อมาเป็นนักดนตรีวงเคสตราได้เต็มที่เรียนหลักสูตรปโทคีฮอสคูลมิสซิกันดราม่าที่ลอนดอนพอไปเรียนปริญญาเอกที่ไอโอวาเนี่ยอาจารย์ที่รู้จักกันเนี่ยเป็นซูเปอร์ครีเอทีฟเขาชอบอินฟอร์เรชชั่นอินฟอร์เรชเชอร์อะไรก็ได้ก็เลยคุยกันถูกข้อมากเพราะเราคิดเหมือนกันแต่ว่าไปเรื่อยๆก็เกิดแบบชอบเขียนเพลงจริงจังตอนม .4 ม .5 เป็นคอนดักเตอร์นักเรียนด้วยแต่ว่ากิจกรรมทั้งหมดอะนักเรียนเป็นคนรันหมดเลยพอเสร็จแล้วอยู่ตรงนั้นเนี่ยก็เลยมีโอกาสได้เขียนเพลงแล้วก็ลองให้วงเล่นเลยตอนนั้นยังไม่เห็นภาพว่าเรียนคอดักติ้งจริงๆเป็นยังไงเพราะตอนเด็กๆก็จะคิดว่าอ๋อมันก็แค่แกว่งสี่ไปเรื่อยๆอะไรอย่างเงี้ยไปก็ได้รับโอกาสดีๆจากหลายๆอย่างตลอดเช่นแบบได้ทุนเล่นคอนเสิร์ตได้โอกาสไปเมืองนอกเหมือนทําให้เสริมสร้างทุกอย่างไปเรื่อยๆจนถึงแบบเป็นวันนี้ <coughs> <coughs> เพราะว่ารู้สึกว่าไม่อยากให้เวลามันมันมันผ่านไปโดยที่เปล่าประโยชน์อะไรเงี้ยก็เลยไปเรียนปอโทโดยที่ตอนนั้นยังไม่รู้ว่าอะไรต้องตัวเองต้องการอะไรก็ผมก็ไปเวนนาแต่จริงๆผมมาคิดดูอีกทีก็รู้สึกว่าไม่น่าไปเลยเพราะว่ารู้สึกว่าก็เรารู้สึกว่าเราไม่ได้เราไม่ได้ได้อะไรขนาดนั้นนอกจากสกิลอย่างเดียวเข้าประมาณป .6 ได้เริ่มเจอเพื่อนเพื่อนได้เริ่มเจอแบบอุ้ยมันมีแบบเอ๊ะอะไรวะเครื่องอะไรเนี่ยวัสดุอย่างเงี้ยโอ้ยอะไรวะเนี่ยคือแบบเอ๊ะแบบเราก็เริ่มแบบเข้ามาอยู่ในโลกของดนตรีแล้วเริ่มเข้ามาอยู่ในวงการดนตรีเราก็เริ่มคิดที่จะเรียนดนตรีจริงจังแต่ตอนปอตีช่วงปลายๆผมเริ่มผมเจอพี่กับจันต้อมก็เป็น2คนที่เปิดประกายในการมองดนตรีในอีกรูปแบบหนึ่งเริ่มที่อยากจะเอ้ยจะเรียนปอโทแหละมีสีดูเคชั่นจบปอโทตอนนั้นผมก็จะออกจากวงอาชีพออกมาก็มาทําเป็นผู้จัดการวงดูอย่างเยาวชนเรียนปริญญาเอกนะครับเรียนที่สายวิทยาการอาจจะต้องย้อนกลับไปตั้งแต่สมัยเป็นนิสิตพูดง่ายๆว่าตอนสมัยนั้นเนี่ยหลักสูตรดนตรีในระดับมหาวิทยาลัยเนี่ยยังไม่มีเป็นตัวเป็นตนหลักสูตรช่วงแรกๆเนี่ยก็จะถามว่าเป็นหลักสูตรที่ดีไหมดีนะครับเรามีอาจารย์ที่เก่งทางด้านทฤษฎีแล้วก็ทางด้านคอมโพสิชันเยอะแต่อาจารย์ที่จะสอนเกี่ยวกับมิวสิกสกิลในเรื่องของลงไปแต่ละเครื่องดนตรีเนี่ยมีน้อยอย่างค่อนข้างขาดแคลนในยุคนั้นนะครับปีหนึ่งอ่ะห้าหคอนเสิร์ตอ่ะผมผมเหมือนกับเหมือนผมทำผมแพลนนิวทิชชั่นให้เขาอ่ะเออว่าอยู่ต้องได้ experience โน้ตแบบไหนบ้างเพลงแบบไหนบ้างมันเล่นหมดเลยเล่นจากคนเทมประหลาดที่สุดจนถึงเพลงป๊อปอะปีหนึ่งทุกคนขึ้นมาเพิ่งจบม .6 จากไหนมาไม่รู้อะถึงปุ๊บเห็นโน้ตตรงหน้าคือบทุกคนแบบนักเรียนต้องใช้เวลาจูนประมาณหนึ่งเหมือนกันไปเรื่อยๆทำได้นักเรียนพวกเขาทําได้พวกเขาทำได้จริงๆเก่งแค่ไหนก็จะมีคนเก่งกว่าอยู่แล้วเหนือฟ้ายังมีฟ้าต้องสอนให้เหนือฟ้ายังมีฟ้าด้วยในฐานะที่คุณเป็นเปอร์ฟอร์เมอร์เนี่ยคนดูเขารับแมสเซจเหล่านั้นได้คนที่ประสบความสําเร็จได้เนี่ยคือเขาเขาให้ทุกอย่างกับดนตรีเวลาเล่นใช่ลองทําอะไรใหม่ๆในในหลายๆด้านเปิดใจกับสิ่งใหม่ๆที่เข้ามาในชีวิตอย่ายึดติดกับสิ่งใดสิ่งหนึ่งคือถ้าเราถ้าได้ทํางานหลายอย่างเราจะได้เจอประสบการณ์หลายๆแบบพองานเดียวปุ๊บมันทําซ้
ต้องขยันนะคะขยันมากๆมีความรับผิดชอบมีแบบมีกรอบในตัวเองอะ่ะคือถ้าเรากล้าเต็มที่กับกับกรอบเราแล้วเราก็ต้องกล้าเต็มที่กับการที่เราจะออกนอกกรอบดนตรีเนี่ยจริงๆแล้วมันเป็นศาสตร์และศิลป์ที่มันสามารถเข้าไปทำงานกับสาขาอื่นๆได้เกือบทุกสาขาเราไม่ได้มีเอเจนซี่เราต้องเราต้องสร้างตัวเองมาก่อนแปลว่าพอเราต้องโปรโมทเองปุ๊บสกิลอื่นๆก็จะตามมาใช้อินเทอร์เน็ตเป็นพิมพ์เป็นเขียนเป็นโปรโมทเป็นติดต่อคนอื่นได้ซึ่งอันนี้คือสิ่งที่ควรจะต้องรู้ต้องไม่คิดว่าเราจบมาแล้วเราต้องเล่นออเคสตราเท่านั้นเขาสามารถเป็นนักดนตรีที่สร้างงานให้ตัวเองได้เปิดโลกทัศน์ของนักดนตรีคลาสสิกให้เป็นมนุษย์ที่สามารถแอพพลายยืดหยุ่นขึ้นให้เหมาะสมกับบริบทของเมืองไทยก็แค่ขยายคอมฟอร์ทโซนแต่แต่แต่ thank you to คุณวิทิชัด also to help me to edit the video and ทิ้งทิ้ง to let the subtitle exciting so like a Netflix so thank you so um, for the analysis that you can see those video uh, that video so Um, all the representative musical backgrounds. So I would like to say some short leads about this. And most of them has begun to study music in the traditional music instrument. Then they swapped to the study in the Western classical instrument at the private music school. That's why we have no the state funding when we were, when we, when we were young. So it means that. Um, And the parents had to pay a lot of money for those music lessons. So indeed, um, making music with their friends is the most important termination for these summaries. And um, the musical context in Thailand, in the view, so the samples realize that the musical context of Thailand, there are limited position in the professional orchestras and classical music space in my country because um, now the job is quite full. So. Some interview we mentioned to the higher education or the university level have to now it's time to develop the music curriculum in Thailand to produce the graduates like a flexible music chains and, and inspire to seek the possibility to work with the artists or art fields and it should be not train them into the music skill only it maybe you have to broaden something like that. And how to adapt the classical musical knowledge to the art discipline. So suggestion and the possibility to work in Thai society. So no matter what um, kinds of the performance or even the art related discipline, they will do all the jobs that will become to be in their income. And however, um, they try to seek the art possibility to work on that. Classical music related to, and you know, last, and expanding the comfort zone, like uh, Dr. Kum San said uh, in the video moment, that is a particular ideas of the classical performing musician in Thailand right now. From the study, I found that from the given information of those interviewees, I could um, design into four things. The first. The result, the result of this, my study first is open mind is very important for the new generation, or not only the new generation and the art musician also, uh, to you know, open mind to what the art field or genre of music, and the second one is engaging with art disciplines. So the performer. Uh, are in this term, so it should be engaging to the other discipline or area outside on their comfort zone. The third, the performing musician uh, should learn more about the other crucial skill like a communication, organization, and or business. Uh, last but not least, um, the performer should use their musical instrument as a tool for ma music making, not only perform only the classical music. You can. Um, making music by using in your in, in your instrument as well. So, and next step of my study, so I will try to explore more the like a statistic by letting this result to be a main thing for studies. And I will get more theory tending of performing musician and it might be able to have a more suitable effect in my context, uh, the context of Thailand. So thank you very much.
Uh, we'd like to open up for some uh, questions or comments. Because this is obviously a big problem in Thailand. And I also very interested in this topic personally. Uh, my question is, have you considered interview or collect data from people who drop out from the career? Because those are people who, who get the result of the oversupply music education. That is the main thing. So if I have an opportunity to do the second phase of this, so if we try to work on this statistics, so we will see the how many um, performing musicians are in the areas, are in the career of that. But we will know also how many people, uh, performing musicians, we will drop from this size also, maybe working on the an another mar marketing or something like that. So maybe in the second phase. So this time, I'm sorry, I'm just reveal, you know, um, yes. what is the possibility. All right, yes. Thank you. Hi, Maybe I'll next time, you. join us. <laughs> Research. Yes, yeah, very <laughs> interesting you. topic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, your presentation is so interesting, and I want to know that. What's your opinion about musical education in primary school, middle school, and high school in Thailand that influence or have effect to musical education in the university? Okay, that, that I understand. Um, Right now, that I try to talk that the students start to study music in when they when they were young. So you know, right now we have no state funding right to support the student have the you know musical knowledge in the primary school as well. But there, there are some courses that call don't they or music and dance, but it's not effective because of um, the teacher. No, you don't know how to teach it as well. So the second thing um, for the secondary school. So in Thailand, we now like a, we now have the dramatic, dramatic art school. Only in Vilay Natasin to provide some the music education in the secondary school level, and you know. But of course, there are the university student in music now decrease because of the, you know, the population or they will study the other things. So because we have no job enough for them who graduate from the music, um, um, music thing. So not only the performance, the other field too. So and this is my second question. Uh, yes. And why the classical music is not popular as in the Europe? It's far from our culture. It has to travel from over 10,000 miles, so it's a milestone. Uh, you know, I, I remember the first international symposium from the PG, and we talk about this, about the, the classical music is far from the, our culture. So as you know that um, our traditional culture is different, totally different from the Western Europe countries. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, first of all, thank you for you know, um, explaining uh, on our behalf of being active performers. But um, I would like to ask just one thing, that wouldn't you agree that the reason that the classical music was not so popular is because somehow in the curriculum of music, whether it's in the primary school or the higher education, we didn't do more. We didn't do much. I mean, we didn't do enough to expand our fan bases. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah Maybe so I think. Um, Would you agree with me that it's also equally important to uh, expand to try to expand our fan bases, like in the uh, general audience? Mm. Try to like, like you said, yeah. that it's 
kind of embedded in our mentality, I mean, the Thai people's mentality about classical music for like over decades. When you hear classical music, everybody said that it is something that you have to climb the stairs to listen. Great, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Okay, well, well so uh, uh, now, now, now everyone goes digital right now, and uh, maybe the Internet of Things. Uh -huh. Did you see any effect on the career path of classical music chants? Uh, just like, uh, do you have any digital effect on their career? Um, the most important is the audience. So, because I organized the our youth orchestra, PYO, with a team, Pung Tep and Riti Chat, and also No Thai after. And you know, we have to try to very much to engage the people, particularly in the audience, to come to join our um, concert. But right now, the communica communication change. So we have to change the system too. It means that, for example, for our concert, we try to streaming live, so we will gain more audience. But of course, we can't catch the ticket fee anymore. But it's true now we saying, yeah. <laughs> but if if the concert must for free because we can stream, yeah, uh -huh, yeah. how can we earn the money to live our life? Um, sponsor is should be the suitable answer on this. So we have to working hard for the sponsor. So. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, thank you for an incredible presentation. Uh, I come from Japan, so comparing a Thai classical musician with Japanese ones, uh, I think uh, you seem a uh, very spontaneous or uh, very natural attitude when you receive classical music. Because in Japan, I just think uh, when we play classical music, we try to remove or we try to omit characters as Japanese people. So we try to pretend to be um, as much as much uh, Western people as possible. But uh, I think uh, you receive classical music in very spontaneous and minded way. Mm. Why, why do you so natural or uh, flexible when you receive classical music or uh, classical music culture? To Thailand? Yes. Uh, that, that I told in the beginning of the presentation, so you know, it's come from in the period of the King Rama VI, so it's almost uh, 100 years already, so you know, um, that time we try to be our civilization country. Also, that's why we receive uh, the classical music come to my country. So, and then, you know, but of course, it developed a lot. So, as you know, right now we have a lot of the 100 curriculum. It's not only music performance as well, so we have this music technology on musical, music education or another side. So, why I'm, uh, that's it, because of the patronage would be uh, my answer right now, but I don't want to sub summary that is a good answer. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So just point back from what you just said about making a living by by getting the sponsors. So I just have one very curious question. If I happen to be one of your sponsors who have absolutely like nothing, not like no knowledge about music at all. So why does music matter to you? Since in this world, one thing that we know, especially for Buddhism that we believe is that nothing lasts forever. So why would you want to keep the classical music alive? So I, I don't think that we, 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 we should keep the classical music, but we should keep more than classical music. It means music, because music can be absorbed to the people's life very easier. 
So you, you know what I mean? So that's why um, music can be adapted to the another thing. So for, for me, I watch in like a Western musical background also, but I try to adapt my musical knowledge, not only the performance, but I try to you know, adapt to be expanded to be the musical, broadened to the music society or community. So, so that's why the classical music in my mind. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. It's been a really wonderful paper session. Um, I hope to see you all at the concert. Uh, this